Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Where is the teacher? Hi. Hello, my friends. Hello, good evening. I'm sorry. Hello, teacher. I, I was preparing the last audio with a very sexy voice that you're going to listen from one of my friends. So, okay. Uh, yes. Teacher time, teacher. No, no. Don't worry. It's, it, it is ready. It is ready. So how are you doing? Tell me. Um, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Wednesday. So we are in the middle of the week. And well, especially for the ones who work on Saturday, right? Well, so um, uh, I don't know the next the next day off. El siguiente día uh, de suerte, we have um, November 2nd. Creo que es el 2 de noviembre. 15 yes. September. September, ah, wow. 15. That's the most the, the, close. Semi, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I don't know if you work on day off. Trabajan ustedes en días de suerte, días, días. Yeah, Listen. sometimes I have to work in. But more money, you receive more money, right? Yes. Yes. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it, it is worthy. A veces lo vale. Sometimes. Okay. So that's it. So um, let's see who was texting. Carla Isik. Okay, Caro, thank you for telling me. Está enferma. Uh, Carla me dicen, ¿qué tiene? Amor. ¿Qué tiene, Carita? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, gastritis. Ah, really? I'm so sorry. I don't know how much y time. Le, um, le pusieron suero ahorita. Wow. Yes. Oh. Well, that is uh, really uh, something that, that is uh, not only disgusting but uncomfortable. It's being incomodo. So I have never suffered that of that disease or illness, but I have known a lot of people. Conozco gente que tiene eso. And, yeah. It makes your day turned into a different point. That's the idea. Pues. It can be the idea. Okay, thank you, Carol. So here we have also Veronica. Hello, Vero. How are you doing tonight? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Good? Good. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. And let's see, Diana, you look different tonight. Hi. Uh, I... No, te ves diferente, mujer. <laughs> no. No. Ah, this... maybe, maybe. Okay. So um, let's see, we have also Mercy with gray blouse. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Wearing a little and stitch blouse, right? How are you? Yes. <laughs> All right. So, you like it. Mercy, you have kids? Do you have kids? Pardon, teacher? Kids. Niños? Kids? Yes. Yes. How many? One, five kids, six kids, seven. Four years. No, four years or four yes. kids. No, solo una. <laughs> okay, um, nowadays it is not so common that um, families have a lot of kids. Have you noticed that? Se han dado cuenta que no es muy común que ahora tengan muchos hijos. In comparison to the past, it was very, really common. I have like eight uncles. Well, uh, three uncles and four aunts. So can you imagine? Uh, my grandparents spend a lot of time together. So... Uh, I don't know, in your case, if you have brother, you have siblings, siblings significa hermanos y hermanas, okay? Brothers, hermanos, sisters, hermanas. But siblings, it means um, both of them. Uh, Mercy, do you have siblings? Yes. How many? One, solo uno. Only one, just one. Sí. A brother, sí. a brother. Sí. Okay, fine. Y Verónica. una hija. Solamente. And one dollar. Okay. For the moment. By the moment. We don't know. Maybe this year. <laughs> Nothing is written. 
Nada está escrito. Okay, Verónica, what about you? How many siblings do you have? One sister now. Just one sister, okay. It's fine. Um, let's see, Carmen. Hello there. Hello, good evening. Good evening. We're talking about siblings. Two brothers. Just two brothers, no sisters. No sisters. But when you were a kid, uh, maybe you wanted a, a sister, right? Two boys. Okay, yes, but in the past when you were a kid, you wanted um, a sister, right? ¿Querés una hermanita? Mm, maybe. Maybe, okay, maybe, okay. So two brothers, okay, thank you. So see, Q, Los is Q. Good evening, teach. Good evening, okay. Tell me, you have siblings? Mm, uh, two brothers. Just two brothers, no sisters? No. Soy la única princesa. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> the only princess. Okay. And that, that is fine. Did you want a sister when you were a, a child? Before. Before, yes. Now, the past. no. No, no. You yeah. don't want to share anything. No. Quiere... no. Okay. <laughs> Compartir nada. Diana, what about you? Um, I have three brothers. Three no, brothers. No sisters. No sister. Okay. Good. Uh, do you get along with them? Te lleva bien? Get along? Eh, llevarse bien. Do you get along with them? Yes. Yes, no problem. Okay. It sounds good. Um, Kevin, what about you? Do you have siblings? Yes, I have two sisters and two brothers. Two sisters and two brothers, okay. Yes. Wow, so you're five. Yes. Okay, fine. And do you have a good relationship with them? Yes, I have a... Yes, no problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who do you prefer, brothers or sisters? Brothers. Okay, that's fine. I imagine that. Okay, thank you. Helen, are you there? Uh, Podría desactivar el micrófono, Helen, please, please. Porque aquí no me aparece esa opción. No sé por qué no me aparece. I don't know why. I can turn it up. Okay. What about Diego? Tell me, Diego. Siblings? No, I don't have any. No. Any sibling. Nor no, brothers, I have two, nor sisters. Two daughters. Ah, just, you have two daughters. In the past, when you, were, when you were young, did you want uh, some company, a brother or a sister? Yeah, have actually, I, I have that? two brothers. Oh, three okay. Brothers. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. okay. That's the point. Uh, two younger brothers and, and, and one of the other brother. And my other brother is a teacher, too. Oh, really? English teacher. So you, you can yes. become an English teacher as well if you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Uh, three, you are, uh, you are four. Four. Yes. Um, for brothers, yeah, okay. Brothers. Do you have a favorite brother? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. My uh, older the older is my my favorite one. The older one. The older. Yes. Yes. That's common. Okay. Yes, the older one. Okay. <laughs> nice. Nice. Thank it's you. It's like my. Your. Now. Like. Okay, what now? Yes. I I I think you have had like uh, deep conversations with them. Or maybe some favors. Algunos favores, algunos paros. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Yeah, that, exactly. Mm -hmm. That is something that happens. And with, with the younger brothers, it's not a thing. No, it is not in that a, way. And sometimes. A great difference in, in ages. Mm -hmm. and, and they have another interest. Another interest. And mm -hmm. remember, they're in different stages. Las etapas son diferentes. As in comparison exactly. to uh, the older brother, uh, the elders are like they comprehend or they understand some situations. So they they, they make favors. That, that's it. So good. <laughs> okay, that happens to me as well. Yeah, I, I am the old. Um, the oldest. So I have really? two brothers and, and I, I'm always saving their lives. Siempre los estoy salvando. Yes. 
Okay, so that's it. Yeah, <laughs> of course, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Okay, wonderful. Nice. Thank you. Let's see, Carito. Como la canción de Carlos Vives. Ajá, Carito. And I have two sisters and one brother. Do you have a favorite sibling? Yes. Decir no te van a ver. No. Ah, it's, no, okay. No, <laughs> my sister. My, which one? Because you have two, right? But ¿Cómo all... se dice? ¿Cómo se dice la que me sigue? Ah. ¿Cómo se dice la que me sigue? The one who follows me. Yeah. La que Así. te sigue. Yeah. The one who follows me. Ah, pues ella. <laughs> so uh, you are older than her. Are uh, you older? Eres mayor que ella. Yes. Oh, that's why. That's why. That's why. That is really common. Okay. Thank you. Um, let's see, Dorita. What about siblings? Good evening. Good evening. Mm -hmm. eh, Tienes hermanos. Siblings significa hermanos y hermanas. Porque hermanos significa brothers y sisters, eh, hermanas. Mm -hmm. Yes, two oh, brothers. Many. Two brothers and one sister. Two brothers and one sister. Do you have a favorite one? Tiene un favorito? Eh, no. Be sincere, be honest. Okay, no. she says no. She says no. Okay. No, no favorite one. And no. also we have Marlon. Hello, Marlon. Hello there. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, my friend, we are we are talking about siblings, o sea, hermanos y hermanas. Do you okay. have siblings, brothers or sisters? Uh, yes, I have. How many? I have, um, let me see, I have uh, six. I have four, no, three brothers. No, 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 I have four. I don't remember. I have... Ah, come uh, on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I have three three brothers and two sisters. Oh. In fact, I have four brothers, but one okay. one of them uh, we have about uh, twenty years uh, to don't know anything about him. Oh uh, really? Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's about uh, twenty years. Mm. So uh, we are uh, for where for. They are four brothers and two sisters. Okay. Do you have a favorite one? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I really, I really want uh, all my siblings. Uh, okay. For what? Como sería? For yeah, equal. equally, equally, in the same equally. way. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 I understand you a lot because I well, actually, well, currently. Mm, I have like, well, I have a lot of step brothers and sisters because okay. my dad was a hyperactive person. He was <laughs> not so calm. Okay. And just like my father. Uh, yes. Two... Uh, okay. So you understand what, what I'm saying. I have, yes. I have two step brothers. Yes. And I have known like four mothers in law. La, no, no, I'm, la, no, 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 cuatro suegras, no, like four stepmothers, con cuatro madrastras, no, no, I'm checking out <laughs> different things, so, <laughs> they're my hero, <laughs> no, no, come on, no, no, madrastras, stepmothers, <laughs> ya me exhibí a mí mismo, okay, so, <laughs> so, um, uh, can you imagine that, I have no different stepmothers and all, all all of them have been like really nice people and person about yes my father is really special so okay, okay. yes okay excellent yes well thank you <laughs> thank you and You're um, let's see claudia okay claudia siblings hermano hermano mm -hmm. Sí, teacher, eh, me conecté tarde. Entonces, ok, relax. No I'm going to ask you later. Te voy a preguntar después. Estamos acerca de hermanos y hermanos. 
cuántos tenemos, ¿ok? Ok, okay Christian, are you there, my friend? And then Edgar. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, hello, how are you? Good? I am good. Ah, escuché que solo una rigua ahí. Están comiendo, ¿ok? Yo Yo quiero una también. Con quesito. Everybody wants it. Todos quieren, dicen. With cheese. <laughs> sí. Ok, Christian, and tell me, you have brothers, tienes hermanos, or sisters? Uh, yes. How many? Uh, one brother and two sisters. One brother and two sisters. Ok, that's fine. Thank you. Claudia, what about you? And then Edgar. Ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me. I have uh, one sister, one brother. Okay, like almost like a balance. Okay, thank you. Edgar, what about you? And yes. then Helen. Yeah, fine, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Do you have brothers and sisters? Uh, just one, only, only sister, one sister. Oh, one sister, okay. Fine. Yes. Fine, thank you. Um, and Helen, brothers and sisters? I don't know, brother. Uh, you don't have, no, you are the only one. Okay, so everything for you, todo es para ti. Okay, so can you imagine? Yes. Okay, you can interrupt. <laughs> okay, what about if we talk about, let me see, what is it? Should the penalty be allowed here in the country? That penalty. Think about crime, think about people who commit crime, violence. Um, it can be focused on ro robbers or thieves, ladrones, um, uh, what, laundry money, and all in, in some countries, laundry money is uh, like punished by the penalty. I think in China is, it, oh, I don't remember the country. I read an article about it. Que si hay países que, que castigan con, con la pena. So, there are different forms for death penalty, okay? But let's see what do you think about it, Carito. You start. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, go ahead. Of course, mm -hmm. there should be death penalty in the El Salvador for so many crimes that go in un punch. ¿Cómo se dice en punch? On pony, uh, okay. On bushes. Uh huh. See, mm -hmm. especially for the violation in minors. Okay, violation. Mm -hmm. Violation. Okay, so mm -hmm. um, that that's something that, that that is really common here in Salvador. Punish is castigo, verdad? Eh, como Punisher. No sé si han visto esa serie. Mm, they're really interesting. Uh, good story. So unpunished, uh, un, uh, it is was punished. Unpunished, que no ha sido castigado, que son impunes. So, so that, that's the, the the idea that you have. Yeah, here in Salvador, especially there are a lot of crimes that have been unpunished, especially people. Well, people who commit crime. So thank you, Carito. Okay, so you you say yes. Okay, nice. What about Carmen? And then Diego. No. You say no, okay. The penalty should not be allowed. Uh, mm -hmm. In my opinion, it is a, against the will of God. Although there are some who deserve it. Okay, yes. <laughs> Although there are some <laughs> of them who deserve it, right? Como que lo merecen. But it is quite difficult you to judge or to say yes or no if a person deserves si una persona merece deserves merece deserve to live or to die okay but it's a matter of oh, oh no of oh, opinion okay but thank you Karen. okay Diego you go and then we're having Kevin okay and yes I believe in our country it is necessary and indispensable to make conscience in the people about to be a criminal. And, and uh, eso abarca, teacher, I don't know how to say yeah, it. It covers. It covers all kind of, of crimes. Mm -hmm. 
However, the Cambodian authorities have to recognize who deserves and who doesn't because believe it or not, there are people who were judged even being innocent. Mm. Then this is the importance to make a correct and deep investigation deep, before. Yeah, deep, profound investigation about crimes or the process or the evidences, okay? Exactly. Because, the, yes, I know cases here in El Salvador that some people who are in prison right now and they are innocent. But uh, the process, the legal processes and all those yeah, processes uh, were uh, not well managed by the authorities. So, but you say yes, because in, in different kinds of crime. Okay. So the, that's your yes. point. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good one. Thank you. Okay. Kevin and then Veronica. Okay, Kevin, ready? Yes, in word. In my opinion, yes. I think that will decrease a little on the subject of crimes because the person may probably think twice before coming commenting any crime. On the other hand, I do not agree because I think that we are nobody to decide who lives and who does does not. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. You say that uh, uh, we, if death penalty is legal, uh, some criminals, some people would think twice, como dice la canción de Paradise, de Phil Collins, think twice, que lo pensarían dos veces, uh, to, commit, to commit a crime. Yes, that's it, of course. But it is uh, kind of hard. It's kind of hard to say, yes, you deserve to live or you deserve to die. Mm -hmm. And, but also we have uh, something that is needed, as Diego said, that is something that is indispensable, something that is necessary to change our legal system, our, our judge, our justice system. That's it, the justice system, uh, especially. Okay, Veronica, and then we're going with um, Mercy. Not because the only one who can take use life is good. God, God, okay. Good. So God uh, is the only one who can like determine, um, determine if a person or a human being mm -hmm. deserves to live today. Okay, thank you, Veronica. Good. Okay, Mercy, you go and after we're having Claudia. In my opinion, not. Mm -hmm. Not. I think that although the situation who has the power over your life is God, or only you receive it. Okay. Okay. So at the end, you say no. Not. Okay. Thank you, Claudia. And we continue with the, the with the other activity. Okay, my opinion is that yes, more than anything for those who rape girls and boys. Okay, so you say yes, right? Yes. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, it's your opinion. And uh, it is good because you have like a base, tienes como una base. Okay, to say um, yes, if it's like it is necessary or not. Okay, now uh, to finish, um, Andreita, please. Okay, depends on, depends on the crime the person has committed. For instance, if, if, is, if, if it is violation, the death penalty should be applied. And if it is a violation of children, children, they must first be tortured and they wow. apply the death penalty. It should also apply when it, it is murder. Okay, yes. I think that the, there is like a pyramid of crime, which uh, there are some illegal uh, 
ads uh, are like the worst, como que son los peores, right? And for example, robbery, el, 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 el robo, or laundry money, el, el lado de dinero, yes, the, those are like different types of crime, but violation, it is something that it is, uh, I don't know, I can imagine that my nephews or my, my, my niece, uh, if they, mm, well, I, 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 anybody or nobody wants that happens in, in, in their families, but imagine if that happened, uh, I think everybody will be like really, not only in, angry, but also frustrated uh, because of our, our justice system, because there are a lot of people who commit that crime and they are free. ¿Verdad? Están libres, muchas personas que han cometido eso. ¿verdad? Como dice un meme, si utilizáramos los violadores para alimentar los osos polares, salvaríamos a los osos polares y nos acabaríamos en los violadores. So that's it. So that happens. También hay uno que dice eh, que cómo es posible que a un perro, que maten a un perro por morder a una niña que a un hombre por violar. Yes, of course. Yeah. That, that is something that it doesn't make sense, right? Come on, come on. That's something that this is a phrase that you can use. When you say that something that is not logical, you say, mm, it doesn't make sense, right? Como que no tiene sentido. No decimos, it doesn't have sense. We decimos, it doesn't make sense. Okay, thank you. Thank you a lot. I, th I really like to listen to your opinions. And remember, it's a matter of points of view. De depende de los puntos de vista. We are not going to say, you are right, you are wrong, because we are sharing what our thoughts our ideas okay so that's uh the main point of the activities that i like to do okay thank you we are going with prefixes for negative adjectives this is something important that i think we talked about it with diego the first class right diego i think you, you, you mean uh, i said something about suffixes and prefixes I so can, i can remember. you remember right mm -hmm. so yes. um the prefixes are words um, like syllables, uh, especially two words. Yeah, two words mainly that goes, I'm sorry, two words that go before the root word que van antes de la palabra raíz. ¿Cuál es la palabra raíz? La palabra raíz es clean, limpio, pero decimos unclean. Okay. Obviously, you can say, um, your bathroom is not clean. Pueden decir eso. Su cuarto no está limpio, pero pueden decir, oh, your bathroom is so unclean. Tu, ese, tu, tu dormitorio es, es, está sucio. Okay? Como está sucio. So that's the opposite. Okay? This is to talk about the opposite. Okay? So for negative adjectives, no todos los prefijos, o sea, los prefijos pre es de antes. Pre, fijo, ¿verdad? Entonces, no todas las palabras, los prefijos, perdón, los adjetivos que utilizamos con prefijos son negativos. Ok, eh, Verónica, do you want to say something? Ver yes. What? Quería decir algo. Do you want to participate? No. No, no. Ah, ok, ok. No problem. So, here we have on, in. These are uh, the most common ones. Ok. So, unkind, unable unwise, unhealthy, unfaithful, unclean. Okay. Faithful significa fiel. Unfaithful significa infiel. Okay. Si cuando le quieren decir a alguien, unfaithful. Okay. So um, here we have in. Uh, that is adjective. Uh, I'm sorry. Uncapable. Uh, incapable. Inanimate. Insane. Indecent. Indefinite. Inactive. Okay. Uh, so this refers to the opposite. Se refiere al opuesto, ¿verdad? Si es decente, es indecente. Si es uh -huh, in a, inanimado, incapaz, insane, es como insano, crazy. And, uh, but in the changes, when it comes before P, M, L, and R. Aquí, así que tenemos, ¿verdad? Eh, estos, ¿verdad? Que cambia el in. Es, y esto aplica también para reglas ortográficas en español, que no, no siempre antes de P va una M, ¿verdad? No podemos decir importante, ¿verdad? Aunque importante no, 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 no pertenece a eso, ¿verdad? Pero no decimos, in, decimos importante. 
¿verdad? Imposible. So that's it. Eh, así que en este caso, IN cambia para IM, ¿verdad? Y cuando va una, pues, también acá, ¿verdad? Una L, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Cambia igual con acá. No decimos in regular, decimos irregular. ¿Ok? No decimos in legal, decimos, I, I'm sorry. No decimos in legal, sino I legal. ¿Ok? Legal, I legal. ¿Ok? So here we have unkind, unable. Este es como un, un, como Ana, pero sin la A al final. Unkind, unable, unwise, unhealthy, unclean, unfaithful. This is incapable, inanimated, insane, indecent, indefinite, inactive. And we have with im, impossible, impatient, impolite, immortal. Hay un grupo que se llama immortal. ¿Verdad, Marlon y Diego? Creo que son de black, creo. Creo que vinieron. Sí, yes, I, yes, yes, yes. Okay, good one. Si me acuerdo, me de ellos. Immoral, mobile. And we have illegal, okay. En este caso sí es eh, eh, illogical, illegible, illegible, and irregular, irreverent, irreversible. So in this case, we have like different adjectives. Pueden haber más. Of course, pueden haber más. But uh, I need you to pick one and say. Okay, so we're going. We're going to start with Veronica and then Marlon, okay? I'm sorry, creo que aquí se me confundí, es illegal, illegal, illogical, illegible, illegible. Okay, Veronica, whatever you want. And then Marlon. Mm, unkind. Unkind, Marlon, then Diego. Um, in, immobile. Mm -hmm. Diego, then Diana. Impolite. Mm -hmm. Diana and Carmen. Unfaithful. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Carmen and Caro. Illegible. Okay. Uh, Caro. Irreverent. Okay. Kevin then Dora. Dorita. Impossible. Mm -hmm. Dora then Andrea. Immobile. Mm -hmm. Andrea then Susie. Uh, in, unclean. Un, unclean. Un, unclean. Un, yeah, that's it. Susie, then Mercy. Unwise. Mm -hmm. Mercy, then Claudia. Unclean. Mm -hmm. Claudia, then Helen. In, impossible. Mm -hmm. Helen, then Edgar. Immortal. Mm -hmm. Edgar, then Christian. Impossible. Impossible Christian, then Alex. Uh, unhealthy, how healthy? Okay, yes, unhealthy, yes, that's it. And Alex? Irregular. Irregular, okay, good. And I will need to check the, uh, the attendance list, please. Say hi, hello, present. Good evening, okay. Ana Mercedes? Present. Thank you, Andrea. Hi, teacher. Hello, Carmen. Hello. Hello, Claudia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Carolina. Hello, teacher. Hello, Christian Alberto. Present. Hello, Alex. Present. Diana, thank you. Present, teacher. Thank you, Diego. Present. Good, Dorita. Present. Hello, Edgar. Present, teacher. Hello, Helen. Present. Okay, Kevin. Present. Marlon. Present. Thank you. Susie. Hi. Hello. And Veronica. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now we're going to write something you have to or need to do these days. Remember that when we say have to, it, it has a higher level of importance. Tiene un nivel más alto como que de prioridad, de importancia, ok, uh, please write two things that you have to do and two things that you need to do, ok, escriban dos cosas acá, que deben de hacer, 
tiene, perdón, que tienen que hacer, porque de veras, de ver, es algo con un nivel un poquito más bajo, algo que tienen que hacer, that is something that is like a matter of life and death, cuestión de vida o muerte también, ok, so you have to do it, and some things that you need to do, y cosas que necesitas hacer, acuérdense que tener que hacer es más importante que necesitar eso, pero ambos, eh, both of them have a high, a high level of um, priority, ok, so uh, let's see, I'm going to give you like one minute, ok, así que escriban, when, cuando tienen que hacer eso, so when, eh, this month, next month, ok, this week, next week, ok, what time, como a qué horas lo haría, eh, it is sometimes eh, we don't have like specific time to do things, but let's uh, say like a hypothetic time, una hora hipotética, ok, where, at home, at work, um, uh, yes, I don't know, uh, in, a, in a different company, if you want to, or if you have to go to the com, <laughs> or I don't know, that there are different places uh, where you can go to do the things, okay? So, four, two activities that you have to do and two activities that you need to do. Ok, I guess uh, you're already finished. Uh, me parece que ya terminaron, right? So we're going to continue with this. We're going to share uh, these activities in, in, a, in a couple of minutes, ok? But meanwhile, we're going to continue with the, with the question. Should the penalty be allowed here? Why or why not? And in this case, I would like to hear Edgar. Are you ready, Edgar? Mm, no, teacher. No, 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 not ready. No, okay, no, okay. No, I'm going, I'm going no, to give no, you no, more no, time. Yes, I see. And what about this question? Yo pensé que lo que acaba de decir. No, mientras seguimos discutiendo eso, dando opiniones, eh, los yeah. demás pueden terminar eso, ok, no problem. Mm -hmm. Please. Uh, in my case, yes. Uh, because this is uh, how cream, uh, no? uh, is crime. Uh, cream, uh, crime and delinquency. Uh, mm -hmm. in, in the country, uh, perhaps seeing that 
as a penalty on the part of the country is controlled. Ah, yes. Good. It, it is controlled, okay? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, the investigations uh, must be objective and for real. Okay, thank you, Edgar. Um, what about um, Diana? Okay. I think that not because how the laws currently work good. Kyle, no, kill is verdad. Kill. kill innocent people. I am also a fear believer that good guys, good gifts, uh, use life and can only take it. Okay, good. And even there is a possibility that imagine if the penalty is legal uh, there could be some innocent uh, people who may suffer of this, okay? So it's a possibility. Taking into account that our justice system, it is not 100% perfect, okay? So that's why. Uh, thank you. Uh, Dorita, what about you? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, and then Christian. Go ahead, Dorita. <clears throat> Should the penalty be a lower? No. Why not? Because nobody has the right to take the life of any young. And that someone also does, it is a their all right before the supremo being. Okay, the Supreme. Okay, that's fine. That, that, that's your point of view. That is based spe specifically of values, okay, and, and spiritual, spiritual opinion. Okay, thank you, Dorita. Christian, and then we go with Marlon. Uh, yes, uh, I agree. Mm -hmm. uh, sería for a specific, a specific a specific uh, case specific 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 cases mm -hmm. para casos específicos yes, yes, depending yes. on the severity severity or sever yeah, gravedad, severity como... yeah severity eso sería okay as we were talking previously that there are different kinds of um, crime as we have uh, for example if you drive there are different um, kinds of Fine, ¿verdad? fine significa multa. So there are uh, different types of fine. Uh, in recently, uh, there was a, an, incre an increase, right, of uh, payment. So I think before or previously, there are some, some fines that were about $34, 11 Now they, they are like $50, okay? Okay, so, that, so that happens. And so, uh, I mean, there are like a different levels. Okay, Marlon, and then we go with Alex. Okay, uh, I think uh, that penalty should be allowed mm -hmm. uh, um, because uh, the other penalties doesn't stop the crimes. Uh, nonetheless, it has to have a careful way to apply. Uh, so as not to blame innocent people, and it depends uh, of the type of crime. Okay. Yes, um, a very, a very good, uh, what? A very good examples that uh, the justice uh, system that we have doesn't stop the crime. I, I think the, it doesn't stop, the, it stops the crime. Uh, mm -hmm. We, we need, the, definitely, we need that penalty. Okay. Uh, especially for, for, for the cancer. Mm -hmm. los, los uh, yes, of course. Especially, especially for the cancer, for the... the los violadores, como, yeah, como yes, yes, the rape man. Yes, for the rape man, for violation cases, for... Im imagine Hiroshima <clears throat> in some other countries have different conflicts and problems. Hiroshima has the, the atomic bomb, imagine. And in the, in the 1945, and now 
uh, it is like uh, well a developed city right and yes, here in yes, Salvador yes. we have had different <laughs> opportunities to develop ourselves in, in different ways and <clears throat> we are uh, stuck estamos estancados no aprovechamos yes ¿Cómo se we don't take advantage we don't we don't take advantage yes. uh, that's my opinion teacher i think uh, we have to have uh, to apply apply it but very carefully for not to blame uh, the 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 people the innocent people okay yeah then that's it and remember we need like severe punishment okay yes okay thank you thank you Mar uh, alex and then susie I think not because my people would die innocently. Okay. Mm -hmm. There are people that may uh, die innocent. Okay. That's another possibility, of course, that may happen. Um, good. Susie and Helen. Okay, Susie, tell me. I would suggest it should apply to the most dangerous murderers who forget that they have to write over the the lives of others mm -hmm. yes and they take lives right they take lives and that that's something that happens daily diariamente helen you go something difficult the question mm -hmm. and the sacred scripture no sé escrituras sagradas escrituras Yes, the written, the holy, the holy Bible, the holy written, yes. Mm -hmm. um, you will not kill. Okay. There is it's not right to take the life of a human being. Uh, however, however, in mm -hmm. these times in the world, we could execute them from stop the, the license. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, the, we need to find different ways to stop delinquents if we don't uh, have like the penalty legal life. Okay. Thank you, Helen. Very good opinions. Mm -hmm. And remember that it is not a matter to say uh, what is right or what is wrong in our case, or to say you, are, you have like a point, you are right with your ideas. No. We are just sharing opinions. Estamos dando opinions. And I like to hear all of you. Okay, now we go with a pair work. Vamos a trabajar en parejas uh, with two activities. The first one is this short conversation between Susie. Aquí está Susie. Yeah, Susie so rubia. Okay, uh, between Susie and Adele, but Adele is like a girl's name, right? But okay. And let's say this is a special person. Okay, so we have Adele. Please check my agenda. Remember agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday, the 26th. Representatives, esta, si quieren anoten esta palabra, bien importante. Uh, representatives uh, may be not only in the class. For example, imagine we have two teams, tenemos dos equipos en esa clase, and I may say, okay, two representatives or one representative uh, per each group, un representante por cada grupo, but from your enterprise, from your company or your team, you can be the representative. Imagine you have to talk to your boss and in your team, for example, Susie, Diana, um, Carla, Carito, I don't know if, if Dora, I don't know, but digamos que está en el equipo. And you want to communicate something to your boss, you can say, okay, let's select one representative to talk to our boss. Elijamos un representante para que elija, pues, eh, para que hable con nuestro jefe. So that happens, okay? I'm going to pronounce again. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference? No conference, conference, conference. Esta es, es uh, silent letter. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? Representatives, representatives. It's on Friday, the 26th. 
Okay. So um, we're going to, I need to have a screenshot with this. Necesito que tenga una captura de pantalla. But if you have the manual, si tienen el manual, you can find it. Okay. It's on page 27. Creo que está en página 27. Page 27. If you want to, to look for it. Si lo quieren buscar. So we're going to practice this. And we're going to do another activity together. También vamos a hacer otra actividad juntos. Okay. So first, I need you to have this uh, conversation. Okay, and now we have this. Antes que nos vayamos a los breakout rooms, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Write activities you have to do or need to do in your job. Then interview two classmates and write the activities they have to do or need to do. En este caso, vamos a utilizar las actividades que ustedes ya hicieron acá. Okay, ya las tienen. Okay, so no problem. You are ready with this. Ya tienen eso. But yeah, I need, uh, I need, uh, cuando dicen when, cuando dicen when, pueden decirlo de dos maneras. O dicen la fecha o dicen tomorrow, next week, next month. Okay. So that's it. So I'm going to, you're going to work together. Voy a seleccionarlos, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí eh, escriben sus cuatro cosas. Dos cosas que ustedes tienen que hacer y dos cosas que necesitan hacer. Uh -huh. Cosa que ya lo hice. Okay. So be ready. I'm going to set the breakout rooms. Voy a hacer los grupos en este momento. So prepare yourself. Ok, remember, recuerden, tienen que hacer dos cosas. La primera es practicar la conversación. Pueden hacerlo una vez. No problem, ok. And then fulfill or complete the chart. Completen el, el cuadrito, ¿verdad? For the four things, uh, say the four things you have to do. Include the time, include the, the, uh, the date or when you're going to do it. Ok, so see you. In that way, I will quit my job on Monday, December 5th. Definitely, I don't want to work anymore in this company. Now, related to my personal life, Marlon told me yesterday that my friends would prepare my single party on Sunday, December 5th at Diego's house because I will get married on December 31st. And obviously, my honeymoon will be on January 1st. So those are some of my plans for this year. See you.
uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. I have to be in an important interview. Si gusta, teacher. Mm -hmm. Hello. Eh, vamos a hacer las cosas según el primer cuadro o el segundo cuadro. Es igual, porque aquí solo está detallado con when, what time mm -hmm. y where, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí mm -hmm. solo está más general, pero es igual. Entonces lo que yo quiero es que compartan estas mismas, ¿ok? La información completa. Sí, lo que pasa es que acá eh, tienen las de ustedes, ¿verdad? Estas son las que uh -huh. van a compartir, ¿verdad? Entonces este cuadro simplemente aquí está tu lista y la, por ejemplo, la de Susy y la de Verónica. Mm, ok. Uh -huh. Por eso aquí dice your list, your classmate, que es la de tu compañero. Uh -huh. Pero básicamente, basically es the same, es la misma. Ok, thank There's you. No problem, you're relaxed. <risa> Digan las que ya las tienen. Uh -huh. Sí, ya tenemos, ok. Fine. Eh, pero si gusta. Time. All time. Whatever. Whatever. No, eso no es como no. Ahora, ¿qué, eh, ¿qué quieres hacer? Eh, I have talked talk to, to my boss this month at 8 o'clock at work. Tienes que hablar con tu jefe. Sí, este mes, eh, this month. This month. What? No, al menos es como que, ¿cuándo vas a hacer eso? ¿A qué hora vas a hacer eso? ¿Y, y dónde? Ajá. Es como que. Sí, no. Eh, ¿Qué tal? ¿Todo bien? Sí, sí, todo bien, todo bien. Oh, ok. Solo, solo que... Con... Alex me preguntó sobre esta otra actividad. Entonces... Sí, sí, es que es la misma. Solo que en la otra, eh, si te das cuenta, en la otra simplemente, pues... Bueno, te explico de esta manera. Permíteme. Lo único que es que una es más general que la otra. Por ejemplo, acá, esa, esa ya la hicieron, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. O sea, ya tiene, ¿verdad? ¿Cuándo van a hacer la actividad? Eh, ¿A qué hora? ¿Y dónde? ¿Ok? Relacionado con el trabajo, teacher. Sí, sí. Yes, related to the work. A su trabajo. Y aquí lo único que dice aquí está tu lista, o sea, tus cosas, Kevin, y aquí vas a escribir las de Alex. Y aquí ah, Alex okay. va a escribir su lista y aquí las, las, las de Kevin. Ah, ok. okay yeah, es yeah. la única diferencia, pero uh, basically it's the same. Es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Solo que este cuadro es más genérico, más en general. Así que lo que sugiero es que compartan lo que ya tienen acá, ¿verdad? Eso, compartan. Ok. Ok. Good. Excellent. I have to check the dates, shorts, pero no sé si así es. Sure. Ajá. Uh -huh. Fechas cortas. Ajá. Uh -huh. Shorts. Eh... O te, ¿A qué te refieres con fechas cortas, Dianita? Eh, con las fechas de... Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Fechas de expiración. Ah, de vencimiento. Sí. Yeah. Ajá, de vencimiento. Uh -huh. Pero no sé si así se dice. No, puede decir expiration. Expiration date. Uh -huh. Fecha de ah, expiración. Okay. Expiration. Es que nosotros sí lo conocemos como fechas cortas. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Ya, ya. De vocabulario técnico. Ajá. Ah, sí, vocabulario técnico. Ajá. Yeah. Ok, expiration date sería la primera, number one. Ajá. Uh -huh. And I have to. No, I need to do. Um... My... Lo repasamos otra vez o. Uh, o hacemos el cuadro. Ah, pues. Hello guys, okay, si ya hicieron eso, vayan a hacer el cuadro. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ok, perfecto. Sí, porque no lo hemos hecho. No lo Ajá. he hecho, perdón. Para que les abunde. <risa> yes. Ok, eh, compartan básicamente lo que ya habían hecho, ¿verdad? Lo que tenía el cuadro okay. anterior, solo compartan. That's it. Mm -hmm. 
Perfect. Okay. Perfect. I've been teacher. a little teacher. Hello. Hello there. Vamos, lo vamos a, a... Aquí vamos a ver, ajá, estamos haciendo bien la actividad ajá. para llenar el, el cuadrito, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, este... vale. le, voy, le voy a explicar. A ver. Tranquila, paren de sufrir, paren de sufrir. Vale, le, voy, <risa> le voy a explicar. Vale. Ustedes ya hicieron este cuadro, ¿verdad? Entonces, aquí este cuadro es más detallado. Aquí uh -huh. dice when, what time, where, ¿verdad? Eso ya lo tiene. Ahora, sí, sí, este, sí. este otro solo es más general. Es como que todo esto lo van a hacer acá en una línea. ¿Ok? Resumido. Solo que aquí dice tu lista y la lista de tu compañero. O sea, de mi compañero. Exacto. Ah, okay. Aquí va Caro, aquí, aquí escribe lo de ella y aquí va lo de Edgar. Y Edgar, tú escribes acá lo tuyo uh -huh. y aquí va lo de Carita. ¿Ok? Ah, okay. Sí. No, pues estamos sí. <risas> Solo le tengo una pregunta, Ticha. Uh -huh. Yes, go ahead. Sí. Vaya, le quería saber, vaya, yo puse, necesito, le puse, quiero llenar de gasolina mi... Mm, ok. Ah, no sé cómo ponerle, put, le puse, pero... No yes, I need to fill my, 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 my car. I need, yes. O oh, solo así. I need to fill full my gas, uh, my, 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 my car. Y en dónde? At gas station. At gas station. Mm -hmm. Solo así sería. Yeah. yeah. Pull, pull. Mm, pull my car. Pull my car. Sí, se, y se sobreentiende porque así es una estación de gas. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Teacher, teacher, entonces. Dime, mujer, dime. <ríe> él dice que quiere, necesita comprar su medicina. Entonces mm -hmm. sería hacer at pharmacy. At, siempre. Yes, at pharmacy o drugstore. Cualquiera de las dos. At Ajá, pharmacy. Pero siempre sería at. Sí, at the restaurant, at pharmacy, porque es un local ya como específico. Ah, ok. Yes. Ok, thank you. Ok, hey, you're welcome. Gracias. You're welcome. Hello. Girls. Hello. ¿Todo bien? Sí. ¿Finished? Ya terminaron. Eh, pues decimos que sí. Yes, good, wonderful. Can I listen to the conversation? ¿Puedo escuchar la conversación? Ok. Ok. Ese, ese suspiro me llega. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Ya, yeah. Dorita, ya. Yeah. Sí. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? All Monday, November 22. 22nd. 22nd. Mm -hmm. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday the 6th, no, 26th. 26th, yes. Okay, yes, good. And the chart, el cuadrito ya lo hicieron también, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, este, solo lo resumimos. Ok, ah, pues ya lo, ese lo resumimos, me suena. Hmm. Okay. <ríe> es que solo, solo pusimos, este, por ejemplo, mi lista es meeting, eh, sem report. Pero le, pusi, pero le pusiste el, el lugar y la hora. Ah, ese sí, en el, en el otro cuadrito sí. Uh -huh. Y en ese, porque Dora tiene que decir una de tus actividades con hora y lugar. Ah, ok, ya se la voy a dictar.
Hello there. ¿Qué pasó, Susi? Ay, ya terminamos, finish. Oh, otro nivel. Okay. Estamos un éxito. Yes, yeah, so of course, I know it. Sí, pero la puse junta. Okay. So, um, um, everything okay? Desde el momento todo bien, Susi. Sí, hasta el momento sí, solo teacher, ¿verdad? Que cuando es tercera persona, el need to, yo por ejemplo, le voy a poner un ejemplo. Eh, eh, Verónica, on Monday at 10 a.m. need to checks. El checks ya va el, el, el no, la S. No. En el, no, needs to check. Needs. Sí, ah, cuando okay. va el to, después es bien fácil porque cualquier verbo no se, eh, no se cambia, ¿verdad? Es needs to check, needs to Send. Así como have to, have to meeting. Mm -hmm. Has okay. to meeting, exacto, así es. Okay. Solo que recuerden eh, en la fecha o díganla antes de, de todo o díganla mm -hmm. después. Ok. okay. okay. So that's it. Thank you. You're welcome. Ok. Um, antes de seguir con esto, Quiero preguntarles esto que es bien interesante. I really like. no, sé, no sé qué piensan de mis preguntas, pero estas preguntas sí son bien reflexivas. The, those are the very reflexive questions que no siempre nos hacemos. But eh, sometimes we have like ideas about it, about them. But let's see. Should everybody have the same salary? No matter the job. Why? Why not? Imagine. Everybody, every person in El Salvador uh, earning $2,000 or $3,000, but doing the same job or $1,000. Well, eh, well, the salary, it's a matter of necessity. It's a matter of opinion. It's a matter of studies or businesses. Uh, it depends on different aspects, right? Eh, no puedo decir cuál es un salario justo o cuál es, what is a good salary. I can say, it. I, I can think about it, but it is not a general idea. No es una idea general. Yo no puedo decir que mil es un buen salario o 500 es un buen salario. It's a matter of opinions, right? It can be more, much more or less, okay? But the point in here is, imagine a good salary for every one of you. Imaginen ustedes, personally, Think about a good salary, un buen salario, but everybody's going to have the same one. Todos van a tener el mismo salario, but doing different jobs, pero haciendo los trabajos que ustedes siempre siguen haciendo. So, in this case, we're having Veronica as the first uh, opinion, and then we're having Andreita. Okay. It's not because there are harder jobs oh. than others and they need another degree of a study. Okay, okay, there are harder, verdad, son más harder. difíciles. There are harder jobs and uh, your opinion is focused on the, the studies, okay? The level, the studies level, okay? Academic, academic point of view. No valdrían nuestros años de estudio. Okay, okay. That, 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 that's your point. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, Veronica. Andrea, then Kevin. Teacher, cuando nos referimos a un oficio, ¿cómo, cómo se dice? It's an occupation. It's occupation. an occupation. occupation. Mm -hmm. We have professions and occupations. Uh -huh. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Not because the employees is paid according to the work he does and according to his profession or occupation. Okay, according to his occupation or profession. Okay, thank you, Andre. We're going to Kevin and then Carmen. Okay. I think not. In my opinion, if we talk about this, you see it seems somewhat unfair. There are people who Hear a lot of money and don't do much, and there are people who work a lot and earn like little, like farmers. Mm -hmm. A good point. They have like a, a workforce, a physical work. Okay, yes. they work uh, 
long hours and they earn, they have like a low income, tienen un ingreso bajo, right? Sí. So, so that's it. So you think that, no, it, it is, it, it shouldn't be, no, no debería ser así, this is. Yes. Okay. Para tener, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What I'm doing. Okay, income significa ingreso. Okay. Es ingreso. Okay. Carmen, you go and then Marlon. Uh, I think no. no. The pay uh, is according to the job. Uh, however, we should have the same salary for the same job. Ah, oh, good point. Same salary for the same job. For example, uh, women and men, same salary, okay? Same job, okay? That's it. And according to different enterprises, okay? If you are a manager, if you are a secretary, if you are, well, it should hay, be. Like, hay también bastante diferencia entre hombre y mujer y un mismo, mm -hmm. un same. mismo trabajo y, y a uno le pagan más y a otro menos. Uh, I don't know too much cases, but there are. No conozco muchos casos, pero sí hay. Yes, sí, I hay. know there are. And that happens. And remember that we have to, we should have a standardized salaries. Uh, salarios estandarizados. Related to the occupations or, or, the, or the professions, right? So, uh, thank you, Carmen. Uh, a very good opinion. And now, um, Marlon. And we're having, let's see, Helen. Okay, uh, I think the teacher is children mm -hmm. uh, because um, uh, there are some people who has been studied uh, a lot of years and, and there are some people that is accustomed to, to being, doing the same things. And I think, uh, those people no lo merecen. ¿Cómo sería? They don't deserve it. They don't deserve uh, mm -hmm. to, to earn uh, the same salary that some people who has been studying for a lot of years. And 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 if 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 all the people uh, earn the same salary, I think uh, we we will become to a boring society. Mm. Uh, I don't know uh, anybody should uh, search for for an undeveloped or improve, mejorar, improve. or improve her uh, or improve the quality, the life quality, sería mm -hmm. calidad de vida. Okay, yeah. No sé, entonces pienso que I think that uh, there are the reasons. Mm, mm, for uh, not everyone has to, to same to same the salary. same salaries. Okay, good point. Good point. You mentioned uh, something about development improvement, and that's focused especially on motivation, because um, the salary it's uh, like a source of motivations, but it is re related to your job, occupation, or profession. Thank you, Marlon. Yeah. Okay. Good one. Okay, we're going with Helen and then Christian. Uh, should be according to your function in company mm -hmm. and according to how the work perform. Is issue is difficult in our country, country mm -hmm. pretty fully. There are many exploited. Okay, thank you. It's according to what you do, right? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, Christian, and then we continue with the next activity. Go ahead, Christian. Uh, I don't know, agree. Mm -hmm. uh, because each job is different as well as the ability uh, to develop the function fu, 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 of the same. 
it will not be fair uh, the same salary. Okay. It uh, wouldn't be fair. Fair, no sería justo. Okay, you say. Sí, no sería justo. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, we're going to continue later. Um, this is uh, like a topic that we studied in the past course. Lo estudiamos en el curso pasado. It is quite important to remember this because sometimes we um, we have not a clear idea about how to use on in at, okay? So in this case, to remember this topic, we use on specifically when we have days, when we tenemos días, Saturday, Monday, or when we have the month, and the date or the number day. Cuando tenemos el verdad el mes y la fecha específica. Pero utilizamos in solo para decir el mes. In September, in December, in November. Okay. But we use on. Miren, utilizamos on especialmente cuando utilizamos when we have a day, uh, the month and the number of the, of the, in the calendar. Or both. Cuando tenemos ambos. The day, the month and the number in the calendar, okay? So that's it. Así que siempre que, siempre que vean el día, va on. Siempre que vaya, que vea el, que vaya el día, okay? And we use in for uh, the month or an, in a specific uh, year. O, o podemos decir, ah, re, remember the 90s. Se recuerdan los 90s, okay? Yes, in, the, in 1991, I had my first girlfriend, Whatever you want to say. We have we can say in the summer, in the morning, in the morning, and we use at for the time, and specifically to say at noon, at night, at midnight. Okay. Te decimos casi todo a excepción de la mañana que decimos in the morning. ¿verdad? In the morning. They decimos at noon, at night, at midnight. Okay. So that's it. Just to refresh uh, this content and to be clear because you have taken some notes and tomado, algunas, uh, tomado algunos apuntes about uh, the things that you have to do and you need to do, okay? So now um, we're going to have, um, ya vamos a compartir, ¿verdad? Lo, lo, los, lo, what? Lo del tema de, 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 de los, de los, uh, what you have to, Bueno, no sé si habían terminado de hacer eso, o si querían copiar o, o algún dato en específico. Eso es bien importante, el mes y el año. Es, this, this is uh, really important. Here we have this. Okay. So when you want to um, convey an idea, express something, uh, in the next courses, especially, especialmente en los siguientes cursos, yo lo estoy preparando para que los siguientes cursos ustedes sean top. Cream on the top, ¿verdad? La crema en Así que ustedes tienen que mandarles a todos sus compañeros. Si tienen diferentes, tienen que ser. Top, top. Ok. So that's it. And, and, ok. One by one. Tell me one thing that uh, your classmate has to do and one thing your classmate needs to do. Me van a decir una y una, ¿verdad? Una de, de, que, de lo que tiene que hacer, ¿verdad? Y una actividad que esa persona necesita. Solo una y una. Okay, para avanzar. Okay, so we're going to start with Susi. Okay, Susi. And then okay. Dorita. Veronica tomorrow at 8 a.m. has to meeting with her assistant at work. Okay. And on Monday, she need to, perdón, on Monday at 10 a.m., she needs to check account for pay. Yes, I like to hear needs. Me gusta escuchar needs, ¿verdad? Solo que recuerda, eh, she have to uh, meet or eh, she have to have a meeting, ¿verdad? She has to have a meeting, ¿verdad? Ella necesita tener como esa reunión, ¿ok? Pero es, ok, thank eso. you. But, okay. Wonderful. Eh, Dorita, and then we're going with Claudia. Helen, mm -hmm. she has meeting Tuesday at six o'clock, the coffee house. Okay, perfect. Claudia, 
And then we go with Edgar. Teacher, eh, ahí sí creo que nos confundimos nosotros porque yo las hice, digamos, las mías, yo las hice propias. No, no, no anoté las de él. Ah, Entonces, no, no, no intercambiamos. Sé. Ajá. No intercambiaron. Bueno, creo que están perdidos en la vida, mis jóvenes educandos, mis jóvenes padawans. Así que, bueno, ahí le podemos hablar a la hora. <ríe> ok, ya, me, bueno, de castigo me van a contar un chiste. Okay. Hoy les toqué café a ellos. Sí, sí. No, hombre. Mm -hmm. Chiste van a contar. Ok, no problem, no problem, guys. Ok, we're going with Marlon and then Veronica. Ok, eh. <coughs> Mm, eh, Diego, mm -hmm. okay. tomorrow at uh, 10 a.m. he has to be at an important world interview at home. Mm -hmm. He has to. Okay. Okay. And uh, on Sunday, he needs to buy a new coat for his pet in the second. ¿Cómo sería? En un lugar de donde venden second cosas de hand. Mano. Se dice second, second hand. In the second hand. Okay, yes. Uh, se dice uh -huh. second hand shop. Sí, tienda de segunda mano, ¿verdad? Okay. Eh, sí, ah, okay. uh -huh. Los lo United States. <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> you, can, you can find a lot of things in there, really cheap things. Voy a encontrar Shopping cosas center. bien baratas. Right? You can find a lot yeah. of things. Mm. Yes, it is a fact. I need to buy a, a new kill for my pet. Okay. It is, <laughs> okay. Look at her. Okay, do it, friend. Okay. Um, <laughs> what about who's next? Veronica and then Andrea. Sushi tours at eight o'clock. Check the date of the products of the supermarket. On Monday at 11 o'clock, she needs to write a report. Okay, fine. Andrea, then we go with um, Diego. Okay. On Friday at 9 a.m., Carmen needs make event in the National University. Mm, interesting. And on weekend in the morning, Carmen's have, have seria. Carmen's, uh, no, Carmen has. Uh -huh. Carmen has. Uh -huh. Carmen has reviewed some documents in her in her, her house. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, we're going with Diego, right? And then uh, yeah. And then Carmen, I guess. Yes, yes. Okay, on Friday at nine at nine a.m. Sorry, Marlon has to visit some project in Soyapango. In Tomorrow at 10 a.m., he needs to, to bring some production orders to his work. Wow, that's it. Okay, this agenda. Thank you. Carmen, then Edgar. Andrea has to buy shoelaces tomorrow at uh, 10 uh, and 3 a.m. in the store. Um, uh, Andrea needs to watch the first episode of The Walking Dead <laughs> in the okay. Sunday at 2 p.m. in her house. How important is that? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Carmen. Okay, Edgar and then uh, Alex. Uh, teacher, yo solo uno alcancé a copiar de Carolina. Carolina dale. era mi. <laughs> okay, uh, dale. Ya la voy a regañar a ella. Espérate. Ya la voy a regañar a ella. A ella le cae. Okay, go ahead, Edgar. Uh, uh, Caroline have to get vaccinated uh, tomorrow in the morning uh, at the office at the hospital. Okay, good. Has, has. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ella tiene. Okay, good. And we go, who's next? Who's next? Uh, Alex and then Diana. Uh, yo igual solo una puede. Dale, no problem. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, he had to finish all the document. Kevin. Kevin. Okay. Fine. Diana de Encarito, que la aquí la monta tío. Okay. Mercy, tomorrow at 9 p.m. I have to 
¿Cómo sería ahí? He has. He has or she has. She has uh -huh. uh, to request program, programming for doctors. Okay, for doctor house. Okay. She has to attend providers tomorrow or day. Hmm. She has need to file to purchase this order tomorrow. And um, she needs to research new price to product. Okay, tenemos en esto, Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you Hola, very much. Yes, two, only two. Okay, thank you. Fine, Diana. Entonces me apagó el C, lo siento. Uh, no, dale, no, dale, estás inspirada, estás inspirada, mujer. Yes, I like that attitude. Shark attitude. Okay, and we're going with Carito. Ajá, uh -huh, mujer. And then Helen. Vamos, Carito. Tell me one, only one. Just okay. one. Edgar um, has has to buy has to buy food in Tuesday in the morning at supermarket and, and she uh, needs to full your mot motorcycle tomorrow at gas station okay he he has he okay. has okay he okay thank you helen Ya, ya pasaste, ¿verdad, Helen? <laughs> yes, right? No. Okay, no. And Mercy. Mm -hmm. okay. Diana, mm -hmm. she needs to get to work at AEM. Number two, she has to check expiration days. Okay. Y la mía. No, no, only there, solo la de ella. Ah, ok. Ok, thank you. Helen, ya pasaste, Helen. Yes? Ok, go ahead, please. Dorita, Wailera, eh, Friday, 8 o'clock, en office. Hmm. Thank you. Dorita, tú sí ya pasaste, ¿verdad? Ok. We're going with a, a listening activity. Vamos a la actividad de listening de este día. Um, so for this uh, activity, I need you to have uh, this. It is not necessary to, to draw the chart, but you need number, date, and activity because there is um, there are different activities that you're going to listen. It's a short paragraph uh, person uh, who is expressing the next activities that, they are, that he's going to do in the next month and with a specific calendar day. So it is important to focus and identify the date and the activity, okay? And of course, that person is going to express more uh, ideas, not, not just the activity. O sea, van a escuchar diferentes también eh, ideas y palabras, no solo van a decir number one, number two. No, he's going to say, hey, I'm going to tell you about blah, 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 and all those things, okay? Le va a contar varias cosas, pero, 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 uh, but uh, we must focus on date and the specific activity on that date, okay? Um, let me see if we are ready, I guess. Yes. You're going to listen a very sexy voice. Of course, yes. So, go ahead. Hi, everyone. Today I would like to share with you some of the most important events I will have in the next month. First of all, I'm planning to prepare my final report on Thursday, October 21st. After completing that, I will send the final report on Friday, October 29th. That is going to be the last document, which includes the most important things in my area. Besides that, I will have my last meeting with my boss on Wednesday, November 3rd. In that way, I will quit my job on Monday, December 5th. Definitely, I don't want to work anymore in this company. Now, related to my personal life, Marlon told me yesterday 
that my friends would prepare my single party on Sunday, December 5th at Diego's house because I will get married on December 31st. And obviously my honeymoon will be on January 1st. So those are some of my plans for this year. See you. Okay, let's listen again. Hi everyone. Today I would like to share with you some of the most important events I will have in the next month. First of all, I'm planning to prepare my final report on Thursday, October 21st. After completing that, I will send the final report on Friday, October 29th. That is going to be the last document, which includes the most important things in my area. Besides that, I will have my last meeting with my boss on Wednesday, November 3rd. In that way, I will quit my job on Monday, December 5th. Definitely, I don't want to work anymore in this company. Now, related to my personal life, Marlon told me yesterday that my friends would prepare my single party on Sunday, December 5th at Diego's house because I will get married on December 31st. And obviously, my honeymoon will be on January 1st. So those are some of my plans for this year. See you. And do you consider you hear it again? Consideran que la necesitan escuchar de nuevo? Oh, ya están. Everything okay. Again. One last time, teacher, please. Wow, okay, one more time. Oh. Uh -huh. Así me dijeron una vez. Deme otra oportunidad. Give me another <laughs> opportunity. Okay, go ahead. Hi everyone. Today I would like to share with you some of the most important events I will have in the next month. First of all, I'm planning to prepare my final report on Thursday, October 21st. After completing that, I will send the final report on Friday, October 29th. That is going to be the last document which includes the most important things in my area. Besides that, I will have my last meeting with my boss on Wednesday, November 3rd. In that way, I will quit my job on Monday, December 5th. Definitely, I don't want to work anymore in this company. Now, related to my personal life, Marlon told me yesterday that my friends would prepare my single party on Sunday, December 5th at Diego's house because I will get married on December 31st. And obviously, my honeymoon will be on January 1st. So those are some of my plans for this year. See you. Okay, now I consider that you have a, like a, a clear idea about this sexy guy that was sharing with you their plan, his plans for the this um, coming month. So uh, it is not necessary to tell me the order, but tell me what you heard, okay? So we're going to start with um, Claudia. Lo que te salga del cora. From Bye. the bottom of your heart. Uh, yo escuché que dice de um, Friday, October 21, Friday, uh, finally, report. Okay, final, final. Mm -hmm. final. Final report, okay, yeah. thank you, excellent. Casi, solo un detallito, pero ya vamos a ver, good. Thank you, Claudia. Uh, okay, ya sé lo que vamos a hacer en, en this case, I'm sorry, just give me. Uh, some time. So, um, mm -hmm. okay, who else? Let's see, who else? Um, okay, just tell me one. Solo díganme una. Okay, Dorita. And Esa misma creo que es October mm -hmm. finally report. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Claudia. Salud, Claudia. Fondo, dale. Okay, Claudia. So, 
tell me, what did you hear? And then Veronica. No, no, it's occupied. Okay, no problem. I'm sorry. Te confundí con Dora. Okay, Veronica and then Carmen. October 29. <laughs> October, ¿qué pasa con October 29? ¿Qué pasa? No sé qué hizo ahí, solo escuché la fecha. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, Carmen, then we go with Diana. Um, December uh, 30, the uh, Central Party in Diego's house. Okay. Oh, it sounds like a, hmm, it's going to be like X project party. Okay, thanks, Carmen. Uh, who's next? Who's next? Diana. Okay, Dianita, please. Eh, escuché el día, solamente que me alcancé a notarlo. Era October 21st, final report. And October 29, complete report. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Um, let's see, what about Edgar and Kevin? Eh, alcancé a escuchar January 1st, eh, algo de luna de miel con mi esposa. Eh, on, honeymoon. Honeymoon, este tipo, este tipo es bien romántico. Pero, ok, thank you. Quiero ver otra quizás. Relaja, relajate, Edgar, relax, my friend. Estás emocionado. I can see that you want. Ok, December, what? ¿Qué pasa en diciembre? Contame. En diciembre eh, decía algo de su vida personal. Que iría a una fiesta. Mm, yeah, yeah. That, this, this guy is going to have fun a lot. Mm -hmm. Right, Diego? Ok. Um, yeah, teacher, we will. <laughs> okay, fine. And who's next? A quien le dije, a quien más? Okay. Um, okay, Diego, tell me what. Kevin dijo, teacher. Ah, Kevin. Okay, Kevin and then Diego. Kevin, okay, you have another one? Okay. Um, we're going to wait a little bit. And then Diego, and then we go with Andrea. Okay, uh, on November 3rd, you will have a meeting with your boss. Okay. But it's super so, so boring. I, I like, I like the uh, December 30, 31st okay. at my house. Okay, good. I've been waiting for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a promise. Okay. That sounds good. Uh, there is not a bad idea. We can celebrate the uh, annual beer day. Really? Okay. Some weekend. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, <laughs> maybe we can have like a uh, good music in there. And then. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice talks. Sculptures. Good music. Yes. And what? Sorry, Carmen. Sculptures. Ah, really? Ah, que lo agendemos, dice, okay. Or en, en, en music, en, en coffee, en, en bread, en, bueno. some cookies. What's this? Cookies. Some butter cookies. Some butter. <laughs> Tea. Pregúntenle a la Susi qué quiere llevar. Ah, no, Susi y Diana se que van a llevar, no más ni les pregunto, porque esta mujer. Pídanme, pídanme. Va a llevar té. Té. Qui. Tequila. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, okay, um, Andrea, tell me one more. Okay, October 29th, send a final report. Okay, um, mm -hmm. uh, do you have another one? Um, es que ya casi todas las dijeron. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, November 10th, meeting uh, with my boss. Okay. Thank you. And Susi, another? No, las mismas que dijeron. Okay, no nos falta November and December. Two activities. Uh, does anybody have it? December. 
Then in November 3rd, you will have the, the maiden with your boss. Yes, yes, but I mean November 8th. November 8th. The second one. Ah, the, there are two activities on, on in November. No. So, okay, and December. Okay, I'm going to show you. I escuché uno de diciembre 31, que era Marriott. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to present you the like at the the list con los nombres de los más buscados. Okay. Yes. On Thursday, October 21st, prepare my final uh, report. And uh, Friday, uh, October 29th, send the final report. Um. No, Wednesday, November 3rd, have the last meeting. Monday, November 8th, quit. Um, do you know what is quit? Okay, quit is when you finish, you wow, goodbye, and see you never. Cuando renuncia. Cuando renuncia. When you quit your job. Okay. And Sunday, November 5th, single party. And December 31st, get married. And January 1st, uh, have honeymoon. Mm, okay, so I will present you the, the paragraph and I will show you uh, the last, I will show you the, with the audio so you can have like a better idea. Hi everyone. Today I would like to share with you some of the most important events I will have in the next month. First of all, I'm planning to prepare my final report on Thursday, October 21st. After completing that, I will send the final report on Friday, October 29th. That is going to be the last document, which includes the most important things in my area. Besides that, I will have my last meeting with my boss on Wednesday, November 3rd. In that way, I will quit my job on Monday, December 5th. Definitely, I don't want to work anymore in this company. Now, related to my personal life, Marlon told me yesterday that my friends would prepare my single party on Sunday, December 5th at Diego's house because I will get married on December 31st. And obviously, my honeymoon will be on January 1st. So those are some of my plans for this year. See you. Okay. So the, this, for sure, they are not my real plans, right? But in any case, um, it is important to have like dates and the days, the, the month. And I don't know if you, if uh, did you, Feel it like kind of difficult or easy or normal. Lo sintieron aceptable. Tranquilo. Si se dan cuenta, los párrafos van aumentando un poquito más. Todos los párrafos. ¿sí? So that's the point of this. And we're going to finish. 12 minutos, 12 minutes, and we finish. So, should everybody have the same salary no matter the job? Why? So, in this case, uh, what about if we listen to Susi? Okay, I do not think so because for me the salary depends on the study, the experience, and the seniority seniority of each one. Okay, so you say no. Yeah, they have different salaries. Okay, thank you. And Susie, very good. What about Carito? Okay, in my opinion, uh, according to the activity carried up and level of preparation of the person has to be the salary. Okay, thank you. Based on the preparation. Thank you. Okay, we go with 
Claudia? Okay. My opinion is not because then there will be no motivation to improve, improve academic. ¿Cómo se dice académicamente? Academic. Academically. Yes. Academically. Hmm. Okay. So that's important. Y Claudia se revela, no contesta. Ok, thank you, Claudia. Yes, academic issues, um, especially academic background, it is important. And to, yeah, so to succeed, but it's not so necessary. But in this case, maybe could, could it be the base for establishing like a salary? Ok, what about Diana? Ok, in my opinion, it shouldn't be because most people make an effort to study, learn to improve financially. Since okay. they couldn't do if everyone has the same salary. Okay, thank you. Diego, what about you, my friend? And then we have uh, Edgar. Okay, teacher, here I go. Now I don't think so because there are too many people who try hard starting or working to can take good incomes or, or good savings. And could be unfair that other people who didn't try their best have equal incomes that the others, that the other ones um sorry yeah i don't see my 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 notes your notes okay <laughs> as a conclusion i i believe if you try enough and work hard you will deserve a better quality life and if you don't do it do not even dream about it nothing good comes easily yes yes it's based on what you do day by day with discipline and uh, hard work Okay, yeah, that, that's that's a good point. Thank you, Diego, very good. And who's next? Edgar, right? Okay, and, teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, please. Okay, uh, in, in my case is no, uh, because there are jobs even than others, as well as some more physical and others more thinking. Mm -hmm. It is based on, 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 yes, or creativity, mental processes, and there are some others that are based on workforce, uh, physical, yeah, physical jobs, okay? Thank you, Edgar. And Alex and Dorita, and we are about yes. to finish. In my opinion, not because money stopped in the study, because even if they were professional or not professional, the salary would be the sum. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it is, uh, well, it matters if it is uh, professional or not, but the effort uh, should count. Uh, Dorita and Mercy. My opinion is not because the effort, sacrifice, dedication, and capacity of a very person should be rewarded. Okay, reward. Reward, okay. Es como pues una recompensa, okay. Reward, recompensado, okay. Good. Thank you. And uh, Mercy, please. I consider that not because we all have different responsibilities in relation, obligation, award, other more and other less. Other have and level academic. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you, Mercy. Remember that a couple of, of days we were talking about how important it is to have high school and a university degree. And it depends on what you are looking for or what are your objectives. But experience uh, counts uh, a lot. And if imagine if a person is, is a, if a person is paid 
for what? For the same quantity uh, or, or in the salary in comparison to your salary. And you have like five, 10 years of experience. And it has been like uh, really hard to get to, uh, to that level. It wouldn't be fair. It is unfair, right? And uh, this is one of the, I think this is the only topic or the, the only statement in which you agree all. Creo que todos han estado de acuerdo en esto. Creo que ha sido el único tema, right? Creo, right? Uh, I think that it is, ya ven, se puede, se puede tener éxito en la vida. No, puede tener armonía, of course. Cinco minutos, five minutes. Okay, look at this. We have months of the year. So here we have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And here you can see a calendar. <laughs> it is not updated, not actualized, but in any case, here we have a calendar. What we have to do is um, just, uh, it says write the name of one of the months in the calendar, think of three events and write the dates for them. Well, I consider that maybe you can write one, okay? Write one event and uh, do it like this, okay? On Monday or on January 23rd, for example, if you have a, an important activity, it doesn't have to be related to your job, okay? It has to be related to your personal life. Okay, on say the month and the calendar day. Okay, on mm -hmm. on September fifteenth. Si van a hacer el quince de septiembre. Okay, if um, are you planning to do something with your family, with your friends, with your couple? Okay, so go ahead. Just one, solo uno. Okay, teacher, I got one. Okay, go ahead. On uh, September 25th, I will celebrate my wife's birthday. Wow, so you're preparing a lot. Prepare your, yeah. your pocket, <laughs> your wallet. You have to be something special. Yes, why not? She deserves it. Okay. Good. You're a, you're Party a... in your house. Ah, what, what? Um, <laughs> aha, I see what I see. <laughs> All of you are invited. Okay, but listen. You, you have to bring some bottle. Yes, some bottle of water. <laughs> of water. A water. A lot crazy, of water. Crazy water. Okay. <laughs> uh, what about <laughs> Dorita <Anyone>? and Denita? <laughs> mm -hmm. Anything special? November 23 mm -hmm. is my birthday. 23rd is your birthday, so you're going to get crazy. Yes, good. Yeah, fine, Dorita. Good. No te pregunto cuántos años porque sé que vas a cumplir 36. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Diana, and then we go with okay. Mercy. Pero esa misma va a decir, o sea, on December 29 is my birthday. Mm, okay. A good, a good date. Una buena fecha para agarrar gira artística. Ok, thank you. Then. <laughs> eh, merci, Claudia. I had a meeting on three days, August 20. Ok. ¿Y ahí sería solo 20 o...? Sería 20th. Mencionas... Ahí 20 se dice 20th. Ajá, 20. Es que son, ajá, eso si se dan cuenta son números ordinales. There are ordinal numbers. Uh -huh. No decimos uno, dos, decimos first, second. Uh -huh. 20. 20th. Uh -huh. Pero para decir 21 no decimos 20 first, decimos 20 first. Ok. Thank you, Mercy. Ok, Andreita, tell me. Marlon. On December 31st, I yeah. celebrate New Year with my family. Eh, hey, boyfriend. Good. Thank you, Andrea. Uh, Marlon. Uh, on January 3rd, I will celebrate my wife's birthday. Yes, similar to you. Yeah, you are a really good husband. Yo, ah, that's why you are <laughs> really smiling. Okay, good. Okay, good. Um, 
Um, we have less than a minute. Tenemos menos de un minuto, así que I'm, I'm going to check the attendance list, okay, my friends? And we finish. And Anna Mercedes. Present. Thank you, Andrea. Present. Carmen. I'm here. Thank you, Claudita. Caro, Caro. Present. Claudia. Present. Christian. Present. Alex. Present. Diana. Diego. Present. Dora. Present. Yeah. Edgar. Present. Nice. Helen. Present. Good. Kevin. Present. Marlon. Present. Susie. Present. And Veronica. Okay. Present. So, so thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, we couldn't, no podemos escuchar. We couldn't hear uh, the, the rest of you. But um, today we're having Veronica. Veronica, right? Okay. So everybody have a good, good night. night. Sure. Uh, question, a question, teacher. Uh, no. we, we have today like a deadline of the activities. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Number Please, 10. yes. And the midterm. 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 Tiene que ser ahora el midterm, así como les dije en WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Es necesario hacerlo. Hay algunos que están, ya adelantaron, así que están relaxed, ¿verdad? Ustedes, todo tranquilo. Ok, fine. Okay. Pero I, nosotros... I complete everything. Ok, that no. Monday. Yes, ok, no problem. Ok. If you did it, ok. okay. So you are in advance, ¿verdad? Así que el resto que no lo ha hecho, please do it, do it. Ok. So, good night. Ok, good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Okay, to have a uh, feedback about the topics um, we and content that we covered during this day. And we have here um, review. Review of unit two and practice. So, um, uh, students focus on writing something that they have to do or need to do. So there was chart in which they had to write um, some obligations or some activities that are like priorities in comparison to the others. So 
um, they had to write the date, um, the time, and the place where is going to or where is supposed to take place that uh, important activity. And also, if they need to do some activities. Okay. Then we have um, a conversation, short conversation. So it is um, between Susan and Adele. Uh, Adele, please check my agenda. Uh, when is the meeting with the calls and times? And Adele says, on Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday, the 26th. Here we have great activities you have to do or need to do in your job. Then interview two classmates and write activities they have to do or they need to do. In this case, they wrote some four activities, the same four activities that they did in the last activity. So they have a breakout room. as well um we had this chart in which um uh, it is said uh, how to use prepositions of time and uh, there are three main words that are really useful to express um time the date so for example, when we use on, we say on Saturday, on January 23rd, on Monday, February 5th, and on Wednesday morning. In, we have in May, in 2018, in the summer, in the morning. We have also at, at 2.30, at noon, at night, in at midnight. Then here we have um, like the chart with the months of the year. We have January, February, March, April, May, June, July. We have August, September, October, November, December. So um, as it can be seen, there is a calendar uh, detailing the days during the week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. And activity number four says, write the name of one of the months in the calendar. Think of three events and write the dates for them. Number six, then share them with two classmates or with the whole class. Example given, an English class on Tuesday, on Tuesday, August 9th. So as, um, so as it is seen in there, um, it is important to use days and months to detail uh, when is going to take place the activity. It doesn't matter if the activity is uh, really important or less important, or uh, maybe it is something that it is not 
something that is not so so sure maybe so that's uh, the point of this chapter 